Hey everyone, today we're going to do something I haven't done in a very long time, and that's uh, an umbrella style jig. In the vise, we have a 3 8 ounce uh, hybrid grass jig. It's a color I call uh, ultra purple. It's it's airbrushed. It's not powder paint. It is airbrushed. Um, I'm just learning. I'm no. I'm playing around with it. But um, I figured this one I wanted to do for a while. I do it with powder paint, but I wanted to try it with an airbrush. But um, we're doing this, like I said, is an umbrella style jig. Uh, it's a three eight ounce hybrid grass jig. It's got a three op owner twist lock flipping hook in it. Um, they're expensive. They're they're over a dollar a hook to buy them from Tackle Warehouse. Uh, and I had a slightly modified a mold, just grind down a little post uh, because the hook eye is a little bit smaller than what the the mold calls for but it does work in there and you could see just how big that gap is so without further ado we're going to get started with some black 210 denier flat wax nylon thread as always and i'm going to take a little bit of super glue brush on and just a little bit on the collar just to keep my thread from sliding down because we don't want a big base on here to start with. So, first color that we're going to put on here, this is fish scale white. And I'm going to lay that. It's very easy. This is uh, not going to be a very dense skirt. Two, two tabs of material. That's it. Very easy to do. Once I get it straightened out. This is the hardest part, is getting that first one on there. Without getting your material to... Uh, without getting your material flopping all over different places. Make sure I do want it to overlap a little bit, but not a ton. So it's got to even it out a little bit. And then we're going to use, this is purple nature's edge. I love the, the, the color of this and it gives it just a little bit of contrast from that pearl purple. I was playing around with a few different colors and, um, this came out pretty good, so I figured I'll put it on here, show you. Because uh, it's been a while since I've done an umbrella style jig. And I'm just going to tighten this down before I do anything else. And now I'm just taking my scissors and carefully cutting close to my thread. Like I said, you got to do this kind of carefully so you don't you don't want to be cutting strands out and you don't want to be cutting your thread. And there's that. And now we're going to do our purple. And there's our purple. Oh, I messed up. I got a little piece of that white that I didn't get close enough. It doesn't really matter. Um, I like doing it so I don't have any thread showing after I'm done. Or I don't have any strands showing either.
because that's all this part is is just we're blocking in our skirt material so that way it does it can't slip That's the one, that's another pain of this method. But it does allow you to get a really nice flare on your material. We just got a few more wraps to make and then we're done. And now we'll whip finish it and get it complete. This is where doing it by hand is a lot better, but I don't feel the thread so well. So normally I could just push it through. Fortunately for me, it's not bad because you don't have to uh, get a lot on there. One knot five or six times is more than enough. If I can ever get a hold of this thread. that take some water-based head cement here get enough on there I'm just gonna eyeball the ends of these and cut it then we'll throw our weed guard in. Some super glue gel. Weed guard is in now. All I got to do is even out my skirt material. Get it to the length I want it. And there it is. Our hybrid grass jig. Umbrella style with our owner twist lock flipping hook. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.